coming up we walk along a beautiful sandy beach check out an unusual lighthouse visit a wonky church and a very short pier and spend the day beside the seaside beside the sea hey folks and welcome back to the channel today we've dropped down to Somerset and we're gonna have a wander around Burnham on Sea very popular holiday resort we're gonna take you with us well, hopefully you can hear me because it is pretty windy we thought we'd come down and make the most of this nice bit of sunshine which we're having for a change and uh, have a wander around Burnham on Sea which is extremely popular uh, holiday resort destination whatever you want to call it down here in Somerset it's not too far for us it's about an hour a quick shoot down the M5 motorway first thing to mention I think is this fantastic beach I think it is around seven miles of coastline um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous we're just gonna head across to uh, have a little look at what they call what is called the low lighthouse which is a listed building and very interesting we'll show you a bit more when we get there the low lighthouse is one of three lighthouses here in burnham on sea but is the only one that is still active it's a grade two listed building and stands on the foreshore it was first lit in 1832 and operated in conjunction with the onshore high lighthouse for 137 years in 1969 after improvements to the high lighthouse this lighthouse was deactivated later in 1993 it was re-established and the high lighthouse instead was decommissioned long known as the lighthouse on legs it is a wooden pile lighthouse and stands 36 feet tall the light being at 23 feet today it provides a white flash every seven and a half seconds plus a fixed directional light being red white or green depending on direction and is operated by the Sedgemoor District Council well I've had a look at that really interesting lighthouse there really really nice we're gonna take a walk now along this gorgeous beach we're gonna walk along the Esplanade of Burnham on Sea itself really nice sand dunes there running across this beach absolutely beautiful you can walk for miles and miles and miles like I said I think it is about seven miles of coastline what's not to like beautiful sandy beach down here the uh, that part where we've been through been along uh, allows dogs and this part down from here right the way down now is uh, dog free so you've got plenty of choice of sand it's really impressive is this sea wall that runs all the way along here on the front there that really does make it look like a proper old-fashioned seaside town and obviously acts as a defense when there's storms and such like in the winter that's where we were, the low lighthouse. We've come all the way along. Gradually making our way down towards the main part of the seafront here. Once part of the old vicarage, the land here was sold to the district council in 1926 for the purpose of public walks or pleasure grounds. And in 1927, Marine Cove was officially opened. Marine Cove. Nice little bit of gardens laid out. Very nice indeed. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free. Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer Kidnap me Take me back All the way back To them days Running around It's 
roughly the right time. Up at Marine Cove, a nice little spot to sit and relax. Away from the main hustle bustle, very nice indeed. Now that's not the straightest church tower I've seen. I think they need a new spirit level. The tower of the 14th century church of St Andrews is 24 metres high and is leaning by almost 1 metre or 2.4 degrees. The movement happened soon after the tower was built but it's perfectly safe and stable. By comparison, the Tower of Pisa leans by more than five meters. Well, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna fit in that door. This was a charming church and well worth having a look around. And yes, there was an impressive organ. Right, time to head back along the seafront and towards that short pier. Built between 1911 and 1914, Burnham's Pier is one of the oldest illuminated piers and the first concrete structure of its kind in Europe. Happy to boast being the UK's shortest pier, technically Weymouth's Bandstand Pier is shorter, but that's only because most of it was deliberately blown up by the council, so that doesn't count. That's Britain's shortest pier, pier in Burnham on Sea. We've had a quick coffee there in the cafe, um, and it is quite busy today. I think it's the end of half term here, so there's still a good few families about down here. Well, it is, as you can see, very busy here today. Like I said, it's the last sort of day of half term here. And uh, apparently there's some gig racing happening a little bit later, so we may come back and have a look at that. We'll see how busy it gets. We're gonna continue our walk along the Esplanade here, up towards the little harbour area. In this part of the Bristol Channel, Burnham-on-Sea stands at the meeting of two rivers, the River Parrot and the River Brew, both of which drain almost the whole of the county of Somerset. The rise and fall of the tide here is the second highest in the world and can rise as high as 12 metres in the spring. Now, I swear to God, we haven't planted this here, but we've just noticed this. There's a little example there of how fast the tide sweeps in up this estuary here. As you can see that boat in front of us, he's obviously got a motor and is struggling to make his way up against the tide there. So quite a formidable tide in this area, which is why um, they do use pilots for boats to guide them up. Oh, just behind me that way there is uh, quite a big holiday park, caravan park, whatever you want to call it. It looks pretty big actually, so just testament to how popular this little area is between here, Burnham on Sea, Breen, and further on up to Western Supermare. Very popular. If you're enjoying the video so far, why not check out ways you can help support the channel in the description below. I was going about to say it's quite peaceful down in this part where the boats are all moored but there's uh, some repairs or something going on over there which is standard every time you turn your camera on but it is actually quite peaceful down this bit there just as the mouth of the river comes in and goes up very nice I'm going to 
Gig racers working hard there against the tide. Obviously, a gig being the boat which used to be used by the pilots, and the racing of it came from when they used to charge out to an incoming vessel, and the first one to get there would win the job of guiding it in, which obviously would have paid well. So that's how gig racing came about. You in the picture. See me. Yeah. All right, folks, I think we're going to leave you there. Hope you've enjoyed this little wander around Burnham on Sea. It's been pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's been, very it's been a while since we've been down this way. It's only about an hour from us, so uh, I'm fairly sure we'll be popping down again. If you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. Do the usual things. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you somewhere next time. Say goodbye, Kim. Goodbye, Kim. Bye, Kim.